I'm doing something a little bit different. The weather is beautiful, so why not work outside of nature? The only problem is I need electricity for my power tools, but I have just the right solution. So, lass uns anfangen. To supply electricity to my power tools, I'm using my big blue cell power 2500, which can be charged up with solar panels. The solar panels are easily stored folded for easy handling. So let's get the system set up and charge the battery. You can never be prepared enough. So having a portable power station is a great thing. Especially if the station can be charged with solar power. The solar panels are simple to set up as they come with a built-in stand in the back. Just plug in the solar panels and the unit starts charging. The manufacturer states the system needs about an hour and a half to charge of up to 80%. So let's see if that works. The system is all set up. While waiting, let's get some exercise. It's about an hour and 20 minutes now and we are at 80%. Amazing! Let's put the unit back into the car and start working on the project. I brought a few batteries that are empty and need to be charged and I brought a few batteries that are already charged so I can start with my project. The batteries are charging for me to use once the batteries I'm using are empty. Also I brought a power tool that's not battery operated and that I will use later. For the project, I bought four pieces of lumber that cost me around six dollars at Home Depot. I have two two by twos and two one by twos. The one by two I will cut into 14 15 inch pieces, and the two by two I will cut into four 26 inch pieces. To cut the lumber, I used my Makita circular saw. Measure the first piece at 15 inches. Use that piece to trace the next. And that will be all the pieces I need. I'd like to give the pieces a quick sand with my sander, therefore I'm using an extension cord. Let's make the boring sanding job a little bit more fun. Make a mark measured from the bottom at 5 inches and another at 8 inches. That will be the line to attach two pieces of lumber. These two pieces will hold the bottom piece of the chair in place to create the chair. Pre-drill pilot holes to avoid the wood from splitting. For the screws I'm using outdoor screws. This part will be the bottom side of the chair, the piece you sit on. Use 6 of the 15 inch pieces and attach them. To get even spacing, I used a piece of scrap lumber. Pre-drill all the holes and use screws to attach. Be careful when you screw in the screws, there were a few times I went a little bit too fast and the wood split. And just in case you need additional batteries, they're fully charged now too. Once you're finished with the bottom piece, attach the last 6 pieces of 15 inch lumber to the top piece of the chair. And this will be the last screw. And we are fertig! That was a simple enough project.
please leave me a comment. I always love to get feedback. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me to continue to make more videos.